We are following some tragic news from the fashion world. Designer Kate Spade has died. Police found her body at her Manhattan apartment this morning. CBS News correspondent Jerika Duncan is outside the apartment. Jerika, what can you tell us? Well, we know from our sources that uh, Spade was found hanging from a scarf attached to a bedroom doorknob. There was a suicide note left there. Uh, we don't know the details of that, and the medical examiner just arrived, uh, so we assume that they will be bringing her body out any minute now. But as you can see, there's a huge presence of reporters, bystanders, people just genuinely interested in knowing what's going on. One woman need, came up to me and asked me what happened here, here, and I said, we're here because of Kate Spade. She said, oh, okay, and I said, uh, we're hearing that she committed suicide, and she just gasped. Um, so I think people are without a shock, not just are, are shocked by this, not just those that are in the fashion industry, but people uh, tweeting out around the world. Chelsea Clinton tweeting out recently, my grandmother gave me my first Kate Spade bag when I was in college. I still have it holding Kate's family, friends and loved ones in my heart. Uh, without a doubt, a tragic story. I know two years ago uh, there was an article written in the Wall Street Journal about her and uh, her husband who started the line of handbags that became very popular in the 90s. And in that, they talked about having an 11-year-old daughter at the time, so we assume she's uh, 13 now. So uh, tragic situation again. Kate Spade apparently committed suicide at age 55. Uh, it was a housekeeper who found her body and called police around 10.20 this morning. Around uh, about 10 minutes ago, the medical examiner's office again just arrived here. Uh, so we expect that they'll be bringing her body out at any moment. Rena? Jerika, thank you so much. I think you said it best. Surprising to so many people to hear this news. Thank you very much. My colleague Tanya Rivero interviewed Kate Spade last year. She joins me now on set. Tanya, I know it was just a little bit over a year ago. Did you get a sense from her that she was depressed or down? Yeah, Rena, I interviewed her when I was at the Wall Street Journal about her new accessories venture, which she called Frances Valentine. She, of course, could not use her name because she had sold the right to her name when she sold her company to Liz mm -hmm. Claiborne back in 2014. She was excited about this new venture. It was an accessories line, handbags, mm -hmm. shoes, the same sort of fun colors that we all know and love yeah. um, from that from her designs. She did mention that there were new retail forces that made it more difficult going this time around. At this point, they only had an online presence. They had no brick and mortar stores. Um, of course, I'm not going to speculate whether the troubles with this this new venture right. had anything to do with her state of mind, but at that time last year, she seemed excited and enthusiastic yeah. and um, ready for the new challenge. So interesting. I know when we cover a suicide, you try to find some justification, and sometimes sure. there just isn't just it, you can't rationalize it necessarily that way. But I think about her 13 year old daughter. Oh, Did yes. you ask her about her daughter when you interviewed her? A year Actually, ago? we discussed her daughter because she mentioned when she sold her company, it felt like a good time because she wanted to spend more time with her daughter, which is yeah. just heartbreaking to think about now. Yeah. Um, at the time, she was 12. Now she's 13. And she did mention that, you know, her daughter didn't use her bags because <laughs> her daughter liked to wear sneakers and wear backpacks, you know, so we had a little laugh about mm. that. Of course, my heart uh, goes out to her right now and her family. Of course, she was married to Andy Spade and they started their company together. Um, yeah, she seemed excited about her family life as well, and that was part of her motivation for originally selling. Um, of course, Coach now owns uh, mm -hmm. owns Kate Spade. They bought it back in uh, two, they bought it in 2014 for um, 2.4 billion, I believe. Wow. So yeah, so it's still worth a lot. You look at her life, Tanya, and you just see she is someone entrepreneurs want to be. I mean, she just rose up in the ranks, had a big company, ended up ultimately buying yes. her brand, yes. and still managed to create her own little niche that worked for her family. Yes, I know. It, it, it's they worked so hard. She and Andy worked so hard building this company into this iconic brand that for women of our generation, yes. I mean, we've all owned a Kate Completely. Spade bag, you know, and she talked about how this new company, Frances Valentine, was going to have the same spirit. She loved color. She loved a little fun in your day. She wanted you to wear a cute pair of shoes when you went to work. And we have video here, Tanya, of your interview with her. Yeah, the there Wall she Street is Journal. with the accessories line. Yeah. And she said, look, you know, I want you to bring a little color with you in your day. I want you to feel cheery about something that you pick up that doesn't break the, the And that bank. is how you, I mean, this, I think this is partially why there was a huge gasp in our newsroom when, when the wire crossed that she had committed suicide. Absolutely, because she does seem to be the sort of iconic, um, 
optimistic, you know, entrepreneur that yeah. we all sort of admired. Yeah. Um, it's beyond tragic. It is beyond tragic and you just have such a happy feeling with the bright colors yeah. and wild patterns that she put together. She did mention something interesting. She said that when she uh, sold, when she sold, which I believe is in 2009, I want to correct, to Liz Claiborne, it was sold for 124 million but she said, you know, at the time everybody thought that was all you know, we just cashed in 124 million, yeah. she said, but what a lot of people don't realize is that we had already sold off part of the company. So it was unclear exactly how much she and Andy made out of mm -hmm. the sale. Um, she wasn't going to talk about that, obviously, yeah. but perhaps it was not the huge windfall that everybody believed it to be. Mm. Just devastating news. Yeah. Kate Spade dead at 55. I just think about her 13-year-old daughter. A life that was far too short. Absolutely. Tanya, thank you so much for bringing us your interview. Appreciate it. Thanks.